Why is the huh? space black? Simple, because Om Sum looks awesome in black. Oh, Om Sum. According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. Does a black hole huh? slow down time? No ways. Only Om Sum can slow down time. <laughs> oh, Om Sum! According to the theory of general relativity, time slows down near a black hole due to a phenomenon called gravitational time dilation. This is the effect a gravitational field has on the passing of time around it. Now, as a black hole has a very strong gravitational field, a clock near it will tick slower as compared to a clock which is far away from the black hole. Hence, a person near a black hole will age slower compared to someone far away from the black hole. Hmm. Why do astronauts huh? keep floating in the spaceship? They are not floating. They are swimming. Oh, Aum Sum! In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hence, in the space station, the astronauts and the objects are also falling at the same rate. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Wait, but is the space station also falling towards Earth? Yes, but as it is moving at just the right speed, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Hence, the space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. What is a supermoon? No idea. But this is super omsum. Oh, huh? omsum. Huh? Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because I painted it red. Huh? Oh, Om Sum. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. How was the moon formed? Simple. Amsam built it brick by brick. Oh, Amsam. According to the giant impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. Why is landing on Mars so difficult? No big deal. Omsum can land anywhere. Huh? Oh, Omsum. More than 50% of landings on Mars have failed. Huh? There are two reasons for this. Firstly, as Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, it does not provide enough air for the parachutes to blow up and land safely. Hence, we need complex retro rockets to land on Mars. Secondly, even though Mars's atmosphere is extremely sparse, it is still capable of creating friction. Hence, we need additional heat shields to protect the rockets. As a result, the complexity of landing on Mars increases. Hmm. What if Earth became half Pluto? No ways. Pluto is not even a planet. 
Oh, I'm some. Firstly, Pluto is smaller than the Moon. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may have to live in extremely small houses. Hmm. Secondly, Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. If Earth became half Pluto, other planets huh? may start laughing at Earth. Hmm. Lastly, one year on Pluto is 248 Earth years long. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may never be able to celebrate their birthdays. Hmm. What if Earth was made of diamonds? <laughs> cool! Now Earth is Amsum's best friend. Oh, Amsum! Firstly, if Earth was made of diamonds, huh? Even black holes might start getting attracted towards the Earth. Secondly, if Earth was made of diamonds, humans might take Earth completely apart. Lastly, if Earth was made of diamonds, Earth may now start charging for selfies. What if Earth became half Uranus? Bring it on. I like being cold. Oh, um, some. Firstly, Uranus is four times wider than Earth. If Earth became half Uranus, homes on Earth's Uranus part will suddenly become super spacious. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, Uranus is an ice giant. If Earth became half Uranus, huh? humans on Earth's Uranus part may keep on shivering. Hmm. Lastly, Uranus has 27 moons. If Earth became half Uranus, our moon may get afraid and run away. How was the asteroid belt formed? Simple. It was formed like this. Oh, um, some. About 4.5 billion years ago, our sun was formed from a huge cloud of gas and dust. Leftover cloud of gas and dust started spinning around the sun. These bits began to collide and stick together and slowly converted <laughs> into planets. But huh? still small bits of rocks were left over. These are called as asteroids. Most of these asteroids got pulled by Jupiter's huge gravitational pull and eventually formed an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Mm. Why does Saturn have rings? No big deal. Om Sum's rings are bigger. Oh, Om Sum! One theory suggests that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm.